In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Most Merciful, the Truthful, and the Most Just. May Allah's salam alaikum. I, uh, I told you all that uh, we uh, were going to have a surprise for you. And, uh, we are here in the studio uh, with someone that I have admired for years. I mean, uh, when I was uh, around 23 years old, I remember when uh, I uh, met this brother, Mr. Billy Paul. Of course, he he probably don't remember just meeting all of us that was 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 there. But he he has been uh, a person who has not only been an inspiration in his music but in his life. And I'm just uh, honored to be sitting here next to a a brother that. Uh, Helped. Uh, now you talk about role models. Uh, he always, when he came out in front of us, he always uh, carried himself like a man, and that, that's something that uh, that you don't see too often. And I, I just want to welcome Mr. Paul uh, to Detroit, and uh, that's what I came up here for. <laughs> Marvin, I want to say thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. You know, first of all, I want to give my praises due. I want to say salam alaikum to you. Wa alaikum salam. Let's get his his mic hot now. Um, I, uh, you know, it's it's funny we talk go back to California and I, you know, because I um been in this business so long. I've met so many people through the years in this business, and uh, well, my life has been. People say I should write a book. My life has been a lifetime of being nice and respecting people. Not trying to be important, but it's important to be nice. And that's what my grandmother taught me in this business. So through the years, I've accum accumulated a lot of friends. Uh, the music has always been special to my heart. But I've always just tried to do one thing when I sang. I'm going to sing, sing the truth, what is happening. And what is, not, what is happening now, it's in that world situation, especially, I have to say, with our youth, even with some of my grandkids, I'm very disappointed in the way, especially the young black men and black women, young, are carrying themselves, you know. I'm not knocking on them because I have it in my own family, but we have to pull up because when things happen, and we being black, and I've always been a proud black man, we feel like responsible, and we all feel like it was us doing it. Do you know what I mean? It's, 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 it's like uh, we just have to get it together, you know, because music has changed. When I came along, it was a lot of discipline in music. Now, it seems like the more angry you are, the more publicity you get, and that makes you famous. But <laughs> it goes into violence, and violence has never proved nothing. That's right. I want to... Uh, um uh, say that I would like I would like you to just tell us a little bit about uh, you know it's a lot of aspiring uh, young people that want to get into entertainment and um, you know many have gotten in and they lose their integrity or whatnot and um, you seem to have maintained yours how, how did you get your start where did you start at? well you know I, I'm, I'm going back you know I was discovered by Charlie Parker Okay. See, I'm a jazz singer, and Charlie Parker discovered me. Okay. And a lot of the young kids don't know who Charlie Parker, you know, is or who was, but he's one of the greatest saxophone players in the world. He said, I mean, a legend. I mean, he is a legend. He's history. Yes, sir. And um, I sang with Charlie Parker at 16, and I always loved jazz. Where was this? In Philly. In Philly. Okay. With my aunt played with uh, Lucky Milton. She played piano. Her name was Camille Howard. And she was a piano player. She took me to Charlie Parker, 
And I can remember the first song that I sang with Charlie Parker was Stella by Starlight. Okay. And Tad Dameron, his piano player, was my first musical instructor. Mm -hmm. And I did my first record called Why Am I? And his piano player was the piano player on my first record. He organized the session. And I was like 16, 17 years old. Yes, sir. At Edna McGriff and Sonny Till and the Orioles, many of you don't remember, going back, was on that label. So I've been doing this since uh, I started in the church. Yes, sir. And um, uh, Sammy Davis and Frank Sinatra did a lot for me. Yes, so sir. in other words, I've been around some giants that believed in me. And all I wanted to do was sing, but see, I was a longshoreman, I went to school, and I worked and sang at night. So I'm a jazz singer, and then I went into service at 21, I was in there with Bing Crosby, Sutton, and Elvin Presley. We was in the same unit. And we, Elvin, we wanted Elvin to start coming in. We, in other words, what I'm saying is we went to Germany, and it, it, I didn't want to go to the ground and sleep on the ground and go to the field, so me and Gary Crosby, Ben Crosby's son, decided to say, we, let's start a band. And <laughs> so that way we could work all the service clubs, you know what I mean? So we asked Elvis. And Elvis said, no, I, I can't go. I, can't, I don't want to say it. I'm going to wait for Priscilla. You, you said you invited Elvis? He had to be in okay. the van. <laughs> okay. So he said, no, I, we can't do it, Billy. He said, Gary, I, I'm waiting for Priscilla. Because Priscilla's coming over here. I'm going to get married. And he's <laughs> waiting for Priscilla to come over see you. Right. So me and Gary Crosby said, oh, we're we going to do it. So we formed this band together, and you'd never believe who was the piano player. Cedar Walton, who played with Miles Davis, and Eddie Harris, the saxophone player, yeah. he was in the band. So you got all these giants. <clears throat> we're in the service together, and we started this band, and we worked all throughout Germany. And I was with Elvis. When his father brought Priscilla overseas, okay. he was in Germany. He was in Kirschgorn, Germany. Yes. And he was in Wiesbaden, right down to the next post. And I used to see him every day. And he was a nice guy. Yes, sir. And I remember being in Memphis. And I worked in Memphis, and the hotel that I stayed in was right next to Graceland. And I'm, I'm, my wife was with me now, I'm looking at her. She said, why don't you go over and see, see Elvis? I said, no. I said, I'll see him the next time when I come back to, to, to Memphis. Mm -hmm. And then next week, he died. Mm -hmm. And it, it hit me. I said, man, I said, see, you could never, I should have just did it then, you know. Yes, and I was always sorry that I didn't go over and see him because when I first made Mrs. Jones, Gary Crossman called me all the way from Hawaii, and I was in Cleveland, Ohio. So, you know, the, 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 my life has been, it's, it's, it's so much has happened in my life. My career has been good for me. And a lot of people say, whatever happened to Billy Paul, you know, because I've had so many hits since Mr. Jones. And I just wanted the world to know Billy Paul is fine. Billy Paul yes, is still singing and going all over the world. And God has still blessed me with my voice. This week, and I, and I have to say, this week has been two or three days ago. It was a hard week because I, I put my little dog down named B.J. who has been with me for like 18 years, and I had to put him down. And that was something that really, like, it affected me, you know, because he used to sit there and go to the studio with me, and when I record, he'd be with me. I'd take my dog to the studio. So I had to put him down. Anybody got a dog? <laughs> well, I just don't you, want to get into it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, um, uh, say I wanna I wanna uh, let all of you know who are uh, uh, viewing and listening that uh, if you have something in particular that you would like to uh, just call up and greet Mr. Paul, or, uh, feel free to do so. Uh, we're not going to rush him out of here. We, uh, he's here. He's going to do two concerts, uh, one tomorrow evening. And uh, matter of fact, the, the callers, 
the first, uh, let's say the first 20 callers, uh, 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 Mr. Watkins uh, is going to uh, uh, let you get your ticket for half price and we take care of the others. So the first 20, you uh, uh, let, it, let it be uh, different. Households now, don't y'all? Okay, you know what? What I want to say, I have to say one thing. You know, like Detroit is such a phenomenal town, and I'm gonna say thank you, Detroit, because Detroit discovered Bertie Paul first on Ebony Woman before Mr. Jones even came out. Yes, sir. And uh, Detroit knew about Bertie Paul. Before some people in Philadelphia knew about Billy Paul, and uh, Detroit's a nice. Is, you, you you preaching to the choir on that one because Detroit was the first city that the that the nation of Islam. That's where we started in Detroit. Yeah, you know, uh, Master Farad Muhammad and the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. They started right here in Detroit. Even the the uh, the new nation of Islam. Most of the ones that's helping me in Mississippi. Is it's from Michigan here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, you know, I mean, these, these are some, uh, you know, they they cuss you out sometimes, but but they there. Oh, I mean, the you know, I mean yeah. they just real. I mean, yeah. and that's, that's, that's saying something. It's, it's, it's uh, Michigan has some history. And Detroit is like my second home, you know. It's, I love Detroit. I had family in Detroit on the yes, east sir. side, you know. And uh, it, it's, listen, I played every club. Mm, the first time I came in Mozambique, High Chaparral, Dummy George, uh, Henry's, I mean, uh, Masonic Temple, uh, you know. I go on and on and on. Pontchartrain, yes, <laughs> you know. Even out there, little Egypt, out of Wyoming. Yes, <laughs> you yes, know, sir. so I've been around it. <laughs> yes, sir. Well, I remember in 70, 74, uh, we on the West Coast, where I grew up, um, we had a, a, a black businessman's bazaar. And I remember you and Eddie Kendricks uh, came to uh, perform. Uh, and uh, that always, I remember when uh, you, you told, told them out of, uh, out of respect for what it was, a religious function, you wouldn't do your your number one hit at that time. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Everybody wanted it wanted to hear. He said, "No, I'm not gonna do me and Miss Jones." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I said, you know, it was real funny because I had respected Islam and and and, and, and the song. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's the kind of brother about, he is. That's the kind of brother Talking about che you know. uh, cheating, you know, and about, the, said, no, I you can't know, and, and I said, I can't do it. You know, people were very disappointed, you know, because I said, yeah. to be fair to the nation of Islam, I can't I do this song, you know. And, and, and then Eddie King said, he looked at me and laughed. And, and he, was, he, him and Eddie did a, a, a love train. A love train. They did yeah. it in a way that I had never heard yeah. it done before, you know. And, uh, yeah, it, it, you know, it's... It, you know, it's it, you know, I just see people all over the world join hands. <laughs> left train, left train. And I let it yeah. take it first. Yes, sir. You know, next stop that we make will be England. You know what I mean? That's so right. It, um, That's right. And, and, and it's funny, we couldn't get Marvin. Marvin, uh, I, I, he was getting ready to get married then because there were three of us that used to go. Me, Eddie Kendrick, and Marvin Gaye. Mm -hmm. And people used to always ask me when I was living in, in, in Hollywood up there, I said, you live up there and... Uh, my Holland Drive up in the hills. I said, why are you always down here in Watson? On Crest or down here? You know, they call it down in the jungle. Yes, sir. I said, look, man, yeah, I got to be down jungle. here because I said, I got to take the message to the people. Yes, sir. So I got to come down here and be down here and I feel at home, socialize with the people. Yes, sir. And let them know what's happening. That's you know right. what I mean? And, and, and people couldn't understand because of the fact that, that I said, this is what I am singing about, life. So I have to experience this. In other words, to sing about it. Like when I did Let Him In. Yes, sir. My twin sister had died. And she was a nice singer, good singer. Much better singer than I was. And I was asking God to let her in heaven. 
Mm-hmm. Um, when I did thanks for saving my life. I, mean, I met my wife, and that meant I was, I was going to school, but I was off the corner. You understand what I'm talking about? And she brushed all them rough edges off me. And I was telling her, thanks for saving my life. Pick me up and make me feel like I'm living again. So that's what that song was about. So mm-hmm. everything... You know, everybody could relate to that. Everybody had something. It was just like me when I first heard it. I was thinking about what the Honorable Elijah Muhammad did for me. You know? Yeah. I mean, it, it's just, it's, it's, that's a timeless song. Most of your music is. That I've, that I've, you know, I mean, it don't, it trend, it, it, it goes across all age levels <coughs> because there's a message in there. That, uh, 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 Mr. Tyler, bring that uh, song up. Uh, Thanks for saving my life. That's, uh, that's, that's for Blanche, and Blanche is my wife, who is also my manager, and, and uh, she's been, we've been together for 49 years. And uh, we're going on to our 49th year, yeah. Yes, and uh, she picked me up, dusted me off, and made me feel like I'm living again. And I met her at a club called Mousy's, and, and, and she was having dinner at the dinner club. Yes, she didn't even go in the bar too much at that time. And I was like um, rehearsing. And I went over, and a friend of mine, a girlfriend that I knew, I mean, a friend of hers. The girl that she was with, I knew, and she introduced me to her. And I just said to myself, to my day, that's going to be my wife. <laughs> to myself, I said yes, that. Sir. And I married her. And uh, I don't have no regrets. Never and had a regret. Not side. one day. And I said, I'm sorry I married this lady. Every day has been, I mean, yeah, you know, but you know, being married life is it's a rough life now. I mean, yes, I. I ain't never, you know, like, I mean, yeah, she, 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 know, she, oh, yeah, she rough now. Yes, I mean. yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Mercy. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but it worked out for me. Yes, sir. Well, we want to make sure that you all um, uh, uh, fill, it, fill it up tomorrow. So, yes. That's, uh, and Sunday. You bring, uh, bring Mama. Uh, in Mother's Day, that's oh, right. That's right, uh, Mother's Day. Yeah, of course. Uh, and uh, th- this uh, tomorrow, we gonna be. You know, I'm definitely coming, if it, it pleases Allah. Yes, yeah, you know, you got to and, bring Mama. Uh, a lot of them already asked me. That, you know, that's up here. The believers, they asked me, could they come? I said, of course. You know, yeah, it's, we, it's 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 Marvin. Uh, life is funny. Life gives you. You can have. All the wives in the world, but they only give you one mother. And that's why Mother's Day is very important. Because when I did the record, I'm going to make it this time, mm-hmm. on, on that Mrs. Jones album. Yes, sir. I did that for my mom. And I was saying, I'm going to make it this time. Because she put a lot of money in, this, in, in me struggling, going to music school and so forth. Take me to Kitty Hour, singing on show. And I looked at her and I said, I'm going to make it this time. And that's the album I got the Grammy off of. Yes, sir. You know, so that's why that song is special to me. Because when the curtain goes up and the audience sit down, I'm going to be singing and getting my crown. Yes, and I'm sir. I'm going to make it. You know, so. See, now you just, you just showed people the truth about what uh, the book says about honoring your father and your all, mother. All the days of my life. How old are you, brother? Oh, me? Yeah. I'm 79 years old. 79 years old. And you just heard how he spoke of his mother. You know, you never can go wrong. Brother, you, it's like that young brother that, that his mother was slapping him on the TV oh, and yeah. stuff. Yes, you notice does. that young brother didn't try to fight his mama yeah. or whatnot. I admired that more than anything that I ever, you know. I yeah. mean, what he got to prove? That man ain't got nothing to prove to you that he, he going, what, he going to fight his own mama? But she was saving his life. Out of your mind. She was uh, just, it just uh, you know, and it, 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 a man that honors his mother, he will honor his wife. You know, I can remember. You know, that's, that's, and, a, and a man that won't? Yeah. I'm going to tell you in front of all of them. 
Uh, don't marry no man that don't right. honor his own mama. That's right. But I remember, I remember cussing my wife out in front of my mom. My wife seen it happen to me. My mother came off the step <laughs> and thought hit me upside my head and knocked me on my Mercedes and grabbed me in my collar and had me down on the hood. Mine so you don't me. talk to your wife that way. <laughs> That's right. And she was punching me, not with her slapping me. She had her fist ball up. My wife was standing right there. Seeing it. And she talks about that now. And you didn't raise your hand to your mother. Didn't say nothing. That's right, man. Didn't say, I remember didn't think mine, about mine it. hit me with her hand. <laughs> slapped me. Oh, slapped man. me. I wasn't going to raise my hand to my mama. Did you see, I, I felt bad. Did you see stars? Oh, man. <laughs> you know, I didn't, I didn't ever do what I did. <laughs> no more either. You told you was boxing. <laughs> That's it. But I'm talking about I was up some size, I man. I know. I know. So, it's you know, so funny. You put yeah, your hands brother. up trying to guard me. Oh, you man. She, she, you know? she slapped, slapped me. That's, that's, uh, that's mama, man. You know, yeah, and, 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 and ain't, you don't raise your hand to your parents. I would like everybody to come out yeah. tomorrow because it's going Yes. Be, I'm singing with my own band, and it's going to be nice because I've got a nice band, some young cats in my band, some young, young musicians in my band. That's and something else. You don't. You don't go no place and sing with somebody else's band, do you? No, no. He, he uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Watkins told me that Mr. Paul don't care. He don't. He don't. He don't sing with nobody but his own band. That, he's a young guy. You know, that way you getting you getting what you came to that what you paying for. That's right. Come you ain't getting no no cheap copy. You're getting the original. The the musicians that's behind him in the song they there with him. And uh, so and that, I got that, some uh, background singers. I got some singers. To do background Shirley Lights. Oh man. Let's see. Well, you know, we uh Bang we wanna we wanna see all of you out. Um, Mr. Tyler, if we have if we have people calling, make sure y'all put them through. I know this is something that uh, you know, they're not used to me being on at this time. But um, and those of you in the conference room, if you wanna unmute your phone and ask Mr. Paul something and uh you know if you in state here uh we can uh uh include you in those those half price tickets too so if you in the city here i should say and uh so i've already uh ordered me 10 of them <laughs> and uh um you know y'all make sure sister hesse if if she's listening y'all make sure somebody brings sister hesse out um and uh, some of the others that, uh, like Brother Abdullah, he bought his wife a ticket. Now, I'm going to get him a ticket. <laughs> so, you know, he, him and her both, they come out. And uh, we uh, we going to give tickets out to as many as we can. Uh, Ten plus, uh, we I see we have someone trying to, trying to call. Uh, we lost sound in your conference. Did we lose sound? Just a moment. I'll just call him back. Excuse me, Mr. Paul. This service is provided by three. Incorrect access code. Please re enter. See, this isn't our normal time for being on, so a lot of people don't know we're on here. But uh, I know people uh, in the city viewing us on uh, oh, yeah. on television, yeah. and so we um, we're going to uh, do what we can to make sure that this event is a success. And uh, um, uh, Mr. Paul, um, the uh, you, you grew up in Philly. And you yeah, I grew up in Philly, and um, uh, uh, you're, you're high Philadelphia. school and all that. All yeah, high it. school and all. That. Yeah, me. And we grew up. In, I grew up in Philly. Yeah. Okay. And your tours. Have you have you uh, been recently on, on tours? Yes. Yes. Where? I just got, where at? Yes, I just got back from uh, uh, Brazil. Uh, I just got back from England. 
in France. I just finished uh, singing Mrs. Jones with the Gypsy Kings. I did a record with yes, the sir. Gypsy Kings. Okay. Uh, and, uh, That's a group uh, in England? In France. In France. Okay. And in Europe. And I'm always a lot in Europe. And I go to England and I go to Monte Carlo. I have to go to Monte Carlo this year. I also have to go to England. I have to go to Brazil. I have to. I have to go to uh, Next Brazil month. in June for, for oh, almost okay. like, like a month. Then I come back and I go to England. Yes, I come back and I have to go to to Monte Carlo. Uh, then I might, then I come back and I got to go to France. You know, so I'm always in so Europe. You're I go to up. Morocco. I go to I even went go to Algeria. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> and now you know, since the war, it's been slow. But um, I go to. Um, um, mm, Sweden, yes, <laughs> you know, uh, Germany, I got to go to Germany this year, so uh, Europe, it, it, you know, I'm very popular overseas. Yes, sir. And my music, I have a big audience overseas. So, I was South up. America, I have an extremely big audience. I went online and Peru, saw, um, yeah. saw you doing something in, in, in France. Oh, yes, and, yeah, uh, yeah. You know, it, uh, yeah. you know, I say, man, like, people can't, don't even hardly speak English. Switzerland? Again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm always, you know, go all over the world. And it's funny, Mrs. Jones is a classic record that I've sang with seventy orchestras and everything. And and, and and let me be honest, I think Mr. Jones right now is a classic. Yes, sir. It's done in so many languages and it's all over the world. And I sing it with the Beethoven Symphony Orchestra. Yes, sir. The the Sweet Stockholm Symphony Orchestra. The Vienna Symphony Orchestra. Uh, 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 up your Philharmonic. So I'm saying that, but, uh, I mean, and the amazing thing is, is it, uh, it's, it's a classic. It has made it's me. It's called Timeless. It's, it's a timeless <laughs> song. Yeah. And that's why I've been blessed singing that song. Yes, because sir. that song, Mr. Jones, everybody knows Mr. Jones. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah. sir. I mean, it's just, uh, you know, so we, we're in studio with. Uh, uh, Mr. Billy Paul. And you know, uh, I have to give a, a, a homage man, to, you know, like, I get a lot of respect from some of the rappers, you know, because uh, a lot of them have sampled my stuff. The uh, youngest, Jeezy. Uh, 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 Jeezy? Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, L ludicrous. Um, <laughs> uh, I know it's a, that some of them got so many different names that I can't I can't hardly yeah, I, I yeah. remember. You used to sing with uh, uh, the Harold Melvin in the Blue Dogs, didn't you? Oh yeah, what, yeah. What, 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 uh, Teddy took my place. I didn't want to dance. I couldn't dance. So, <laughs> so, so how how Melvin five? Jerry yeah. Butler didn't do no dance. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I, I Lou Rawls didn't do it. No, we didn't do no dancing. So Teddy was the drummer. Yes, and uh, Teddy got up and he took over the mic and <laughs> Teddy Pendergraft and ever since, you yes, know, because I was the lead singer. Yes, but I was also like uh, me and Bunny Sigler and Kenny Gamble, Leon Huff, and we were the stylistics. We, you know, like uh, yes, many people don't know it, that, uh, 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 <laughs> you know, like we did some of the background <laughs> stylistics in the studio. Yes, sir. So, uh, matter of fact, um, when so that was a uh, that was pretty accurate what they showed where some of the groups would back up, uh, you know, back each other up in different yeah, songs. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, you know. And that's uh, you know, whoever was there in that studio. Same thing with you know, Motown. So, so, so how many Motown. different labels have you have you sung under? Not many. I've only been on three labels. Okay. I've only been on three labels. Actually, uh, Free International and uh, and, and Total Experience. Yes, sir. All right. And what's the other one? Uh, it's on, uh, uh, Ichaba. Ichaba. Yes. Yeah. Okay. The, the lately album, right. and that was three. I only been on three. I gave them one album. And I gave uh, Total Experience one album, and the rest of them Philly International on CBS. Yeah. Okay. Had Had you ever? Uh, had any of you all ever kicked a, kicked around the idea about starting your own label? Uh, you know, like it's it's it now, you know, 
do that, but now, it, 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 when they started doing it on the internet, uh -huh. you know, it's not easy. About maybe 25 years ago, it would have been nice you could, you could do that. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, it, it's really different. You know, people sing it, download it on the internet. So it's hard starting a record company on your own now. Because so people can just... You can sell more records now on the internet. Yes, sir. You know. Okay. So, uh, no, I, you, I, I don't think I would ever do that. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Too many people involved. It's, uh, it's different now. You know, the music yes, can sir. change. See, when we were, were recording, uh, uh, you know, like we missed the note. We had, see, see, right now, Marvin, uh, I'm going to do some work in the studio, but I use actually true musicians. I don't use the uh, uh, synthesizers. Synthesizer. I, mean, I mean, I don't use all the Pro Tools and, and, and all that. I use the raw rudiments, bass, mm -hmm. drum, piano, mm -hmm. natural sound. Yes, sir. Because, um, and if, if, if we miss a note, we would have to stay in that studio last night, all, all, of, all night till we got that note right. Mm -hmm. Couldn't run into no Pro Tools like they do today. I, I mean, you can take a person today that don't sing, don't sound good at all. Auto tunes and make them sound good. Yes, sir. See, but when you get out there on the stage and that auto tune break down, you're on your own. Yeah. See, if I if I, if I got out there on this stage and stop music, stop, I'm gonna sing a cappella. Yes, sir. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> it's not dependent on no, no electronic. No, I'm not dependent on no, no no gadgets. Yes, so sir. now it's gadget music. Yes, sir. Yeah. You know, you know what, and that's one of the reasons why most of them, it, it all sounds mono, monotone. Yeah, you monotone, know, yeah. 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 Just, yeah it, uh, it, uh, it, you know, it, it, and it's funny, like, some people say, oh, I'm a producer. Um, you know, being a producer, it, it, and uh, it's some of them don't really know the music. Yes, sir. You know, I'm a producer. You know, you know, like lyrics is important in music. Yes, sir. You, you can't write. Okay, let's 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 let the caller call in. Y yes, caller. Alaikum. Alaikum alaikum. How you feeling? I'm very good, sir. And how are you, gentlemen? Oh, I I, I think we're doing all right. <laughs> you right. you here with Mr. Paul and myself? Yes, and, uh, how you doing, Mr. Billy Paul? Fine, it's sir. A pleasure. It's an honor and a pleasure. How you doing, Mr. Billy Paul? You all right? Oh, I'm fine, sir. I just called to ask you a simple question. Uh, you you play with Philly International, right? Yes. And so that would be MFSB, right? Yeah, mother, father, sister, brother. Mother, yes. Brother, right. So did you have any input on um, the Mysteries of the World, Volume O San Juan, Volume One? No, I didn't. Any, uh, it was when in a volume two and a volume three. Uh, I don't, you know, I really don't know because you know, like, uh, I, I, I think it was, I think it was, but, I, but you know, I think that they took those and put them in the can and they didn't release them. Right. Okay. I just wanted to know that, but uh, I, I appreciate your music, your sound, your soul, and you keep rolling, brother. Thank you very much for coming to the city of soul. Thank you very much, our soul, son of man. Uh, look, before you go off, brother, you 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 uh you you uh you married or you single or what? I'm very single, sir. Okay, well, you got a lady? Not at this moment. <laughs> okay, well, look, look, I, well, I, I'm just you know, uh, well, you know, you're gonna get your your ticket for half price now, bro. Oh, okay. So you just you just uh, pay half, and uh, the other half will be taken care of. We'll, okay. we'll make sure that you're able to get on out there tomorrow. Okay. And, uh, thank you very much, son of man. Uh, thank you, brother. Allah salam alaykum. What you say? Day. Oh, stay on the line so they can get your information and get your name. Nobody come up here and, and take your take your place, man. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you. Uh, thank you. All right. Okay. Uh, uh, you are listening to. Uh, uh, Mr. Billy Paul, he's in studio with us, and you know, you know, a lot of times people forget where they came from, but you, you see, Mr. Paul ain't forgot where he came from. He's right back here with us, and uh, 
we are, we are honored to be in his presence. You know, it's not often that you get a chance to, it's, it's like I didn't, I didn't get a chance to talk with Mr. Kendricks like I'm doing with you. But I would have, I would have loved to, because you were so inspired. You, you don't, you don't realize when you got but four minutes. All right, all right, uh, Mr. Paul, you uh, close this out with whatever advice or whatever uh, you think young people need to know that's going into this entertainment field uh, uh, that you are in. Uh, uh, it's, 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 Especially to the, to the young entertainers who are, who are making it today, who's going into the music and the rap and uh, music, uh, invest invest your money, invest your money and let your money take care of you. You know, invest your money and don't worry about buying a big house and everything. Cause see, you're not gonna be on top all the time. In other words, like uh, uh, when I say that. You can be being consistent, being able to plant your foot, or plant your feet, so you can work all the time. Uh, God's been good to me because I'm self-contained, and I'm able to work all the time. And I'm able to have a very successful career, and I don't have to worry about saving my house and doing all this and overspending because I did all that. But invest your money and let it take care of you. Make sure you, main, main thing, make sure you get good health insurance. And a, and a good accountant. I'm saying that because there's so many of us entertainers die broke, get sick, and don't have hospitals to take care of us. You know what I mean? Make sure you get a health, good health plan. And make sure you get a, a nice woman that can help you. You know, make sure you get a good family. Be a family man. Take care of family. Put the money into your own neighborhood. Put the money in and build it up. You know, uh, I'm, I'm saying this because of the fact that uh, entertainers today make more. I didn't make the money that they, they make in today. So in other words, like the, don't let nobody just give you foolish things. Toys, when I say toys, BMW and this and the play with a big gold chain that hang down to the ground, you know, get the money. Yes, sir. And get a good accountant and invest it where it can work for you. That's what I've done. Anyway. Uh, brothers and sisters, he telling you right. You know, that don't, as they say, when you have dollars, you need to have sense with it. And that, that's, the, that's the truth. And uh, we gonna, we gonna, uh, Put a pen in it there.